today I'm going to do a kind of classic bombshell makeup look using the Lorac Pro Palette. Um, I'm going to start, I already primed my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and now I'm going to take some scotch tape and put that on the corners of my eyes to make kind of a really precise line. I like to stick it on the back of my hand first to kind of take some of the sticky away before I put it underneath my eye area. And then I just kind of line it up from the corner of my my eye to the corner of the edge of my eyebrow. And then try to make sure that they are as even as possible. Okay, so now that I have the tape on there, I am going to take the color Mauve, and that is going to be my transition color. I'm going to grab my Sigma E40 brush and just put that in the upper crease area. Okay, and then using the same brush, I'm going to take the color Taupe and put that right on top of the mauve color. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to go in with the color Espresso. And this color is just going to kind of go in the outer corner and a little bit in the crease line. What I love about these eyeshadows that they're, is that they are like super creamy and also really blendable. So it's like the easiest thing in the world to blend these colors out and that makes it so much easier. Now I'm going to take a more precise um, crease blender brush and I'm just going to get a little bit of the black color and put that in the very, very, very outer corner just to kind of darken it up just a little bit and kind of define that outer V. And then I'm gonna go back in with my E25 brush and blend the black and the brown together. Now I'm going to take this little Japanese um, eyeshader brush and I'm going to take the color Champagne and put that all over my lid. Now I'm going to take the color white in the palette and just pop that in my inner corner. And 
And now we can gently remove the tape. Now I'm going to start doing my face makeup. I'm going to start with the uh, Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. Okay, and now I'm going to do the foundation. I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, which I love. foundation is great because it's I mean it's got pretty good coverage it's not a full coverage foundation but it definitely covers everything that I need it to cover and I can't even feel it on my face and I love that Okay, and now I am going to do my concealer. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, um, which is just as awesome as the foundation. I also use this to highlight, so I do it pretty heavily in my under eye area and a little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. And then I just take my Moist Beauty Blender and pat it on. Now I'm going to go in and set my under eye area using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to take the color Banana and just a small powder brush and pat that on top of the concealer to make sure that it is set properly. And then to set the rest of my face makeup, I'm using the Dermablend um, Translucent, Translucent Setting Powder. And let me just tell you, if you have oily skin, like I have super duper oily skin, this powder is phenomenal. Like if I don't use this powder, my face makeup will move all around. My contour will be down here and it just is not a good look. And this is the only thing that will make... It like absorbs all the extra oil my skin produces and makes it so, so, it's such a pretty finish. It doesn't like dry me out or anything and it's really nice. So now I am going to smoke out my lower lash line. I am first going to take the espresso color <clears throat> on a pencil brush. and just run that underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of that black shadow using a, a flat liner brush from MAC and just focus that on the very, very outside corner. And then I'm just going to kind of go back and blend it out a little bit more. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe.
And I like to go in with the spoolie side and just kind of calm that down a little bit. And then I'm going to take this um, Urban Decay Tinted Brow Gel. This is also the color taupe, I believe. And just lightly run that over my brows to kind of hold that color in place all day long. Okay, now I'm going to do my top eyeliner. I'm using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Liner in black. And I'm going to do a wing today. I'm just going to follow the line that's already there from the eyeshadow. And now I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on. This is the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. I'm not going to do too much because I am going to put false eyelashes on. And then also on the bottom lashes. And then I'm going to do my contour. I'm like all over the place today. I can't decide what I want to do next. Um, and I'm going to take this con uh, Sonia, Kasich, Sonia Kashik contour brush. And I'm going to take this middle color out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, which is Fawn. I like to put this on my a little bit on my forehead because it helps kind of warm up my face. I am very pale, so this just kind of helps bring some life back into my face. And then I'm going to go in with a MAC bronzing brush and just kind of smooth out all the contour. And for highlighter today, I'm so excited about this. This is such an awesome highlighter. This is by MAC. Look at how pretty. This is the Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And I am so obsessed. Can you see how, like, shiny that is? I, I love it so much. And I'm also going to put this a little bit on my nose. And then blush. I am going to take the Morphe blush palette. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use this really bright pink over here. I'm just going to use like a really small amount because these blushes are super pigmented. I just wanted to add a little bit of pink coloring into my face. Now for lashes, I'm going to use Ardell lashes and these are the style 105. So I'm just going to pop those on real quick. Okay, now for the last step, I'm going to line my lips using the Clinique Quick Liner for Lips in the color Intense Cosmo.
and just kind of filled them in just a little bit. Now I'm going to take this MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glass in the shade Driven by Love. It's very, very red. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.